Tuberculosis killed 1.6 million people last year. Progress against tackling the disease was set back significantly by the coronavirus pandemic. Because of the lockdown, because of the fact that actually the response, uh, the response to uh, COVID was constructed a lot on the work, uh, uh, on the equipment, on the hospitals and dispensaries, on, uh, on the staff uh, that worked for TB. A lot of them were completely shifted to deal with uh, COVID. Doctors say that has led to rising numbers of people with untreated and undiagnosed TB. India has the highest disease burden globally, with more than half a million TB deaths in 2021, about a third of the global total. But there is hope that the disease can be overcome this decade. India diagnosed and treated 2.4 million people with TB in 2022. Indonesia, Bangladesh, Nigeria, South Africa, Ethiopia and Brazil also made progress. World TB Day on March 24th marks the anniversary of German doctor Robert Koch's discovery in 1882 of the bacterium that causes the disease. This year, the theme is Yes, We Can End TB. India has set a target to effectively eradicate tuberculosis by 2025. The World Health Organization has set a global target of 2030 through diagnosis, treatment and the development of a vaccine. When you put together the fact that we have a bit more political commitment, uh, or more, I would say, that we have a lot of new tools that we didn't have before, uh, that we have uh, the perspectives of a vaccine to come in the next uh, two, three years, uh, uh, it, uh, and we have an amazing civil society and community platform and networks, it's actually giving us a lot of hope that we can end TB. But that will require more funding, an estimated $230 billion over the next eight years. We are pretty convinced that the world will try to end TB and will try to be as bold as it was during COVID. Because for COVID, for the COVID vaccine, $100 billion were found more or less like that. Tuberculosis is more prevalent and deadly in poorer countries. Scientists say a lack of commercial opportunity has hindered research and development into new TB medicines, but the development of a new vaccine would save millions of lives. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London.